Hey there, this is Megan Torrance, and I have Anthony Worth from the Reinforcement Academy with me, and we're going to jump right in and talk about uh, the structure and design of a reinforcement program and why it works. So, Anthony, in, in your programs, it's effectively a spaced learning or a spaced repetition um, themed approach. And um, spaced repetition and spaced learning are all the rage right now, but you've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. And my question is, why does spaced learning work? Yeah, thanks, Megan. I think it's a very good question. And if I give an example from my background as a sport, as an Olympic athlete, or even in, in you know, your, your health, what approach is better? You know, if you work out 10 weeks in a row, uh, two times a week, or 20 hours back to back, what do you think? What has more impact? You know, everybody will, will, will answer that, man, you know, that space learn will help me. I can recover. I can see if I get any muscle pains or whatever. So that's the same with learning. Instead of going to a classroom for one day, the reinforcement is, is about, you know, two or three messages, very short, every week for a period of 10 to 12 weeks. That's the same approach. And what I've learned over the years is that while you're doing that, two or three messages a week, you have time to grow, you have time to adapt, you have time to evaluate, you have time to apply, you have time to talk to your coach to improve. So the reinforcement allows you to going back and forward and actually it's, it's helping you with the behavior change process instead of 20 hours in one block and then see what's happening. On the other hand, I have also noticed that it's so much easier for your planning. You know, two or three messages, maybe two minutes a message, which is a six to eight minutes effort, what we ask you to do every week. So that is not a big problem. If it is a problem that you don't have eight minutes left for your reinforcement, Maybe we have to talk about something else. There is some, some other problems because eight minutes in a week, you know, what's that? So keep in mind that reinforcement is not retraining. It's not a study. It is an addition to your training. So after your training, the reinforcement program will help you to drive behavior change. And the experts, they will create a series of messages that will help you to drive and change your behavior. So as an end user, I always tell people, hey, just enjoy all the messages, uh, just complete them. And my advice is complete them within 24 hours after you get your notification. And all the messages will do the rest. So I like the idea, right, that a reinforcement program, um, mm -hmm. really, it, it, it drives behavior change, right? It mm -hmm. is, we, we all know that when you go to a course, you can get all fired up, uh, but not then implement it because uh -huh. life happens afterwards, right? Yeah. Um, and so that, that spread out over time, a uh, set of reminders to help me change my behavior, I feel is very powerful um, for designers of training, right? We're then looking at a, a mm -hmm. reinforcement program. Like you said, it's not learning. It drives um, behavior change after the learning, right? And of course, the two of them are interwoven, right? Yeah. Um, so talk to me about the pace and and what works here. What's the how long do you go? How many messages? How do you build one of these? Oh There's man, to it. <laughs> yeah, man. It took me about twenty years to figure out the right pace and to write the right balance because you know I figured out that if you don't know how to change behavior and you just send out reminders or knowledge checks, you know, we all know that sending out reminders or knowledge questions, that is not changing your behavior. Um, to change behavior as a designer, you need to understand what are the phases of the behavior change. So there are three phases. First is the awareness, then you have the knowledge in the skills phase, and then you have the apply phase. I know that a good reinforcement program, which is connected to a good training program, has about 60% of all the messages are focused on apply. 
So make a very easy calculation. I know that you need about 20 to 22 repetitions for one behavior change objective. Most programs will have two objectives. So that means that in your reinforcement program, you will have about 40 to 45 messages spread out over 12 weeks. That means that you have about four messages, three to four messages maximum per week, which is about eight minutes. Well, and, and that helps you to change your behavior. And keep in mind, it's not the content that change behavior, it's the consistency. That makes That's sense. Absolutely. And to your point, if you don't have eight minutes a week to help drive home a behavior change, then probably training is not the problem and <laughs> not the reason why you're not making that behavior change, right? Exactly. But I know for me, it's those little reminders and the, oh yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Anthony. And uh, I appreciate the, the little tips as we add into our instructional mm -hmm. design ways of working and helping us all be better at what we do every day. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.